Hi guys, my name is Kirstie and welcome to Upside Down Books. Today is, I believe, day five of the one readathon and day four of Term Topple, so just day five of vlogging for me and I don't think I'm gonna get much reading done today, as I said in my previous vlog. I have a very busy day, I'm gonna be working all day and then I'm going to a Sam Smith concert in the afternoon. It is my one year anniversary with my boyfriend so we are doing that as our little special thing which I'm really excited about. So I'm anticipating the only thing that I'm gonna get read today is probably some of The Drums of Autumn, the fourth Outlander book whilst I'm doing a bit of work and I think I've maybe read five pages of The Lanterns and Burst so I'm at page 100 and 255? 255, 255 now but other than that we're just gonna take today how it comes and we'll see what I get up to. about half past four or just about to be half past four in the afternoon and I finished work for the day and I'm all ready to go out for my concert which I'm very much so looking forward to. I haven't read much more of I know, The Lantern's Ember. I keep wanting to call this an ember in the ashes but that is not what the book is. I'm at page 160 now so I've read like five more pages, not very much, but I have made some progress in The Drums of Autumn. I now have 32 and a half hours to go, so I've managed to listen to a couple of hours whilst I've been working today, but I have probably about an hour's drive through some heavy traffic now, so I'm going to listen to the book on that drive and make some more progress, and that's probably going to be all the reading I get done today. So I'm just going to leave it there and I'll check in with you a bit later when I have some more updates to tell. It's now the next day, I'm currently in my car picking up my brother and I've done a tiny bit more reading. Let me just have a quick look where I'm at. Ah. So in The Lantern's Ember, because I have all of my books with me whilst I travel, I read up to page 280 and I have 31 hours left to go of um, Outlander now, so of the Drums of Autumn. And the Sam Smith concert last night was absolutely incredible. He is amazing live and I was so impressed. And because it was Jordan and I's one year anniversary, he's made me a little wooden box and how sweet is that? It's got little hinges and just little opens up. It's very sweet. Today's gonna be a slightly less exciting day. I'm going home to do some work now and then I have a friend over this afternoon. So we'll see if I can maybe hit to page 300 in the Lantern Zemba. <laughs> to four in the afternoon and welcome to day seven is it day seven i don't know what day it is today i've been really busy getting a bunch of stuff done and a little bit of reading as well i managed to hit my goal yesterday for reaching page 300 before i went to bed and i'm now at page 350 in the lantern ember and i'm so close to finishing there are 185 yeah there's about 186 pages as I've said before so I've got about 30 to 40 pages to go and I really really want to finish it today that was my goal to finish it but I'm about to head to work and I won't be home until about 9 30 at night so I'm not sure how much reading I'm going to get done because I've had a few other things on during the day I got my workout done I had a call with one of my other jobs I had a few other chores to go and do around the place and I've been trying to catch up on some writing for NaNoWriMo I've been 
just a little bit too busy to do my 1500 words every day and my own personal goal is just to do 1200 words because I'm really close to the end of my book that I'm writing. So I've just sat down and done just over 1800 words and I'm planning when I come home to try and bring that up to 3000 for the day just to give myself a little bit of a boost seeing as we are slowly creeping towards the end of November. So I'm going to see when I get home how tired I'm feeling, how motivated I'm feeling and I'm going to see if I can pump out that word count. So I just need to do another 1200 words which is doable and if I do that I'm going to probably power through and see if I can finish this tonight so that I can then pick up the Librarian of Outswitch to finish that one off over the weekend maybe. This weekend I have quite a few plans as well so we're just gonna see how this readathon goes because I feel like it's just slipping out of my control right now. When it comes to the drums of autumn I do not think I've listened to much of it today but I'm gonna see how many hours I've got left. I have 30 hours to go uh, technically I have 29 hours and 48 minutes and I think I had 30 hours or so to go last time I checked in but just in case that's more than what I thought I've got 30 hours still to go on that one so I will listen to a bunch of that tomorrow because I have a good opportunity to get that done and and yeah we'll, we'll see how we go. The only other thing that I have to say is that we recently got some new bookshelves put in in one of our family areas in the house and so I am itching positively itching to put all the books back on and arrange that bookshelf so I will film that for you guys when I get around to doing it but that is all the updates I've got at the moment. Hello guys! I have finished reading The Lantern's Ember. It is 11.30 at night and I finally finished reading it and it had a really wonderful ending. It was a little bit, um, a little bit cliched. The whole book was a little bit cliched, but I really enjoyed how unique it is by incorporating all the standard tropes. Does that make any, that doesn't make any sense. I just really loved how in this book it's it's like a breath of fresh air because Colleen Haug has just taken all the traditional paranormal creatures and actually presented them as their true selves as they're meant to be in the original tales and it's a real Halloween book. The last chapter finishes on the beginnings of Halloween and it's just wonderful. This is the perfect read to read next October if you haven't already read it. Just really just really a harmless and enjoyable book so I'll be rating this one a 4 out of 5 stars. The total page count for that one was 386. I also have read just a little a little bit more of The Drums of Autumn and I'm now at I got 29 and a half hours to go in the audiobook and then as I said earlier we're going to be reading a lot more. I do have a busy day tomorrow, I'll be working in the morning, I'm going to the shops with my mum in the afternoon, I then have a haircut after that and then I am busy in the evening so I, I'll Get a lot of reading of Jumps of Autumn done but I don't know how much of the librarian of Outswitch I will get around to. But that is all of my updates for today so I'm going to end this vlog here and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!